Stone Shard is a brutal, difficult, and oftentimes unforgiving game to play. Today we are going to look at a part of the game that can ease your burden, the different mushrooms and herbs available. We will look at how you get them and how they can help whether you are running a dungeon or traveling the mean streets of Aldor. Mushrooms were recently upgraded in the Troll Slayer update. These tasty snacks can now be cooked to increase and improve their attributes. They are primarily found in the dense forest areas but also grow outside of crypts. You will be hard pressed finding any in open fields. I recently commented in a video that I did not have anything to eat while passing up a good number of mushrooms. I would like to thank two commenters on that video Vibu Rishi and Sam Lowry for opening my eyes to the wonderful world of mushrooms. Get on with it. Before we look at the mushrooms, I want to add a pro gamer tip. While in the forest looking for mushrooms, remember to hold the alt key down. This will highlight all collectible items around you and will help since trees can obstruct your view. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. <laughs> Penny buns. These wild mushrooms are savory to eat and can be your best friend in the beginning of the game. They reduce hunger and increase health restoration and do this more when cooked. When you are low on cash or hungry running back from a dungeon, they will fill you up. Fly Agaric Fly Agaric are well known for their hallucinogenic properties in real life and there is no doubt this comes into play in Stone Shard. They are far less effective when cooked, giving one third of the benefits uncooked, but are helpful if you do not want to jump to 30% intoxication. Pine Cap These mushrooms are extremely edible and slightly less helpful compared to penny buns. I've also found in my gameplay that they are a lot harder to find. Death Cap Last but not least, these are one of the world's most poisonous mushrooms. The toxins are so strong that cooking them does nothing to reduce intoxication. Even touching them in real life can cause problems if you do not wash your hands after handling them. In Stone Shard, they can assist with hunger and thirst, but at a great cost, as demonstrated by Arna. Herbs in Stone Shard are typically found in open fields, though you can find them in lesser numbers in forests and cemeteries. While they cannot be cooked like mushrooms, they provide a wide array of status effects that can help with any class of gameplay. For anyone interested in using herbs, it is recommended to stop by the Hermit's Hut, one of the new points of interest. While the Hermit is long dead due to unknown consequences, his front yard is filled with herbs. There is also a book near his rotting corpse that contains notes he took on herbs native to the starting region of Osbrook and Manshire in Aldor. Agrimony Agrimony is valued for its healing qualities. In Stone Shard, they reduce intoxication, promote health restoration, and assist in bleed resistance. Bog Bean Bog Bean grows in cemeteries as well as forests. It reduces intoxication and pain while increasing morale and bleed resistance. The most frequently found herb next to time. I actually forgot to record footage of it because I assumed it was already in my inventory. Burdock. Burdock is helpful in restoring health and drastically increasing healing efficiency. Horsetail. Horsetail can be used as an astringent, meaning it helps shrink or constrict body tissues. This plays out well in Stone Shard, 
with providing 12% bleed resistance and slight physical resistance. Due to its poisonous nature, it also increases intoxication. Spearmint. Spearmint will help with your beer breath as it positively affects intoxication resistance and change. <coughs> Time. Time is very useful for mages as well as other classes. It recovers 7% of skill points and has saved my life a number of times when getting ambushed. Mind Wart. Mind Wart helps with sanity and morale as well as psionic resistance which is helpful when facing the ancient troll or vampires in the catacombs. They also have the added effect of removing bad trip and when you are drunk which is something we wish we all had in real life. The closest thing is having a run in with the law. Henbane. Henbane may be the most unique herb. It is extremely poisonous but triggers the Battle Rage perk. This increases critical efficiency, critical chance, and weapon damage in the double digits. This is helpful when cornered in an ambush but comes at a cost. Poppy. Poppies are one of the most fun herbs to play with in Stone Shard. The poppy has a chance of causing bad trip or may put you to sleep. These seem like a high risk for the percentage drop of pain and increase in morale. Here are the effects when they get triggered. In conclusion, while they take up inventory space, you should consider picking up herbs and mushrooms. While not discussed, most of them give boosts to sanity and morale which can be harder to control compared to hunger and thirst. Many of these items are listed as ingredients and not as food, which alludes to their use in the future for alchemy skill tree which is currently grayed out. Another awesome feature would be adding mushrooms and herbs to meat when you cook them. This could provide interesting effects of boosting morale or skill replenishment aside from curing your hunger. Another point that I found interesting while doing research for this video is that all of these different herbs and mushrooms actually exist in real life. Even the effects that they cause in Stone Shard can be tied back to real life. I hope you found this video informative and fun. If you did, please smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and leave me a comment. Which one of these are your favorite? Have any of them saved your life? Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Say, not